Hey, what's up guys? We are back today with another video and this time it is another laptop. So back in July, I think it was around July, I uploaded a video of my father-in-law's 10 year old PC. And this is my mother-in-law's laptop and it is not quite 10 years old. I think it's closer to about eight years old. Um, it's a Toshiba Satellite L675 and it's a dated laptop. It's got a first generation i3 in it. It's only got four gigabytes of RAM. It still has the original 500 gigabyte mechanical hard drive and she says it's just running super slow. I think I'm going to, I got this stick of RAM right here. I think I'm going to open up the back real quick and see if we got an open slot and um, we might as well. I have to change the channel name to Pimp Laptops. Unfortunately, we got two two gigabyte sticks in there, which really sucks. I know it's not really good to mix and match speeds and all that stuff, but let's see if it boots with this. Let's turn it on. Let's see if it boots up with that stick of RAM. I think the net gain of two more gigabytes is worth it as far as like any kind of little quirks that it might cause but I don't know so I'm going to download a Glary Utilities and Malwarebytes because those are my two go-to programs I got an i5 chip for it coming in the mail but after doing a little bit of research I think I could have updated it to an i7 Let's go ahead and let this run and then uh, we'll come back and see what we got going on. 174 registry errors, 113 shortcut fixers, one problem with the disk, and temporary file cleaners. Looks like we got three and a half gigabytes and one problem with startup manager. So we're going to repair those. And then we'll run malware bytes and see what kind of viruses we pick up. She's running Trend Microvirus and Blue Coat Canine Web Protector. So maybe she won't have any viruses. I, for some reason, highly doubt that. All right, well, it's not really as bad as I thought it was going to be. We topped out at 73 identified threats. Lots of Trojans, lots of pups. All right, let's... Go to the quarantine, select them all, and delete. Yes. All right, well, I'm just gonna go down the list and uninstall shit. Nort Norton products are always top priority to get off a computer, in my opinion. And I wish I could just do a clean install get rid of all this Toshiba at bloatware. All right, so I'm pretty much done cleaning up the computer. I could remove a few more programs, but I'm not sure if she will get upset if I do or not. It's still pretty slow even cleaning up the viruses and stuff. And I really think that is, you know, 99% of that is the old um, slow hard drive that's in it. So this laptop has an i3 processor in it and I bought a i5 560M for five dollars <laughs> so that was pretty awesome um, you know I don't know how much it's gonna help or whatever but for five bucks for bu five bucks you really can't complain let's get all these screws out Toshiba was not messing around when it comes to screws so let's recount one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I might have to remove the keyboard. So that little strip just comes out right there. A little strip to hide the screws. 
disconnect the, be careful when you're pulling up on the keyboard because there's a ribbon cable. Man, laptop designs have improved a lot over the years. I'm sure most of you guys have seen a ribbon cable before. And this one right here. Jeez, Toshiba. Just easy with the screws. Alright. Oh my gosh, this is just terrible. I didn't realize this was going to be such a pain in the butt. But it looks like we're going to have to remove the entire the entire motherboard to do this CPU swap. Oh my gosh, way more work than I had anticipated. Just ribbon cables for days. All right, we got that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, antennas, power, and the IO ports over here kind of hanging up a little bit. All right, so we're going to loosen up the heat sink screws. All right, there are the heat pads, thermal pads, I should say. Put it all the way over. There's the I3, there's the I5. I think it goes like this. Let's lock her down. She's locked. Now let's get this thermal paste off of here. There's a lot of thermal paste they put on there. See if we can kind of let's put a little bit of thermal paste and that is too much but whatever it's fine I mean from the factory it was that looked seemed like there was a lot on there so I mean that amount of seat that amount of paste was more than what I just put on there so I think we'll be fine let's go ahead and install this heat sink back where it was man what a pain to switch the CPU out it is pretty crazy pretty much have to take the entire entire laptop apart all right so that is done there's actually like those pads are still contacting that really firmly. You know what I mean? All right, let's take this back over to the table and reinstall it. What's the best way? I think I'm going to just start wiggling this back into place, making sure ribbon cables are on top of everything like that. Take this ribbon cable. This little plug, everything's on top. It's on top. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and start with this situation over here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all this stuff and wind this under here. Pretty sure it was the first one to go. And it goes right back into this little slot, nice and easy. That one's in. Let's go ahead and put the Wi-Fi card back in right now. Wi-Fi is hooked up. Let's put this one back in. This one's just like put in with pressure. It's like Always make sure these little ribbon cables are pushed in all the way. All right, I've got the fan over here. Looks like everything is plugged back in. And we got two little silver ones that go in here. 
we pretty much just need to put this top cover back on. I got everything back in place. I'm just kind of double checking, going over it in my mind. And Sometimes these cables can be a little bit of a pain to get back in. All right, so the front goes in. Pop it down. Man, this has been a little bit of a learning experience. I don't have a lot of, uh, you know, stuff going on with laptops and Especially these older ones where you have to take out the keyboard and all that stuff. Alright, so that's done. Let's squeeze this stuff back together. Alright, let's get all these screws back in. Then we'll put the hard drive, the RAM, the battery to see if this thing will boot. All right, so we switched up the chip to an i5, and next step is to get my SSD in the mail. This thing will be humming. Sweet. All right, so I'm finally to the point where I am going to clone my mother-in-law's hard drive to a new SSD. All right, so I got this caddy all up and running plugged in this is our new disc 2 she's got four partitions clone this disc and then select destination select to clone to this is our new one and push next finish okay all right our cloning process just finished it took two hours and 31 minutes and 40 seconds that's actually not too bad but she doesn't have a whole lot of data on her hard drive only about half of what um, half of the hard drive was used up all right let's shut down and swap out hard drives you know what I'm going to do probably is um, do a quick reboot to kind of time how long it takes and then um, just to kind of give an idea how much this SSD actually helped on startup. That is a crazy screen. <laughs> Alright, so the computer is totally shut down right now. Here's my stopwatch, and I'm going to push the stopwatch and the power button at the same time. One, two, three. Oh, darn it. I started it a couple of seconds too early. That's not too bad. 50 seconds to get to this flash screen. This is about as easy of a process as it gets right here. Just slide that hard drive out. I'm going to put the new SSD in. Now let's get our timer back out. One, two, three. It's booting with the new SSD. Splash screen at 25 seconds. <laughs> so it cut it in about in half. So that's pretty quick. There's still a couple things that I would have liked to do to it, but um, she's short on time and short on money. So it is what it is. Um, I'll see you next time. Hopefully next time it's on a PC and no more laptops. <laughs> Not for a while anyways. Peace.